Uh, so the next scan we're going to do is a parasternal long axis view for the cardiac ultrasound. So the patient position is going to be supine. However, you really want to have the patient in left lateral D-cube if you can. That gives optimal images. It brings the heart closer to the chest wall and allows you to get better imaging. Um, the ultrasound probe that we're going to use is a phase array transducer. And the indicator, and it confuses some people, but the indicator is going to be towards the right shoulder if you're in cardiac mode. If you're in the standard mode, the indicator is going to be towards the left hip. And you can tell if you're in cardiac mode if the indicator um, is on the right side of the screen. And if you're in the standard mode, the indicator is going to be on the left side of the screen. For the purposes of this tutorial, we're going to be using the cardiac mode. So I'm going to have the patient go in their left lateral decubitus position. We're going to apply some gel to the transducer. And in order to position the probe, you want it right next to the sternum across the nipple line for males. And in the indicators towards the right shoulder. And here you, get, you see a nice image of the parasternal long axis view. And another way to remember this, if you don't remember the indicator position, is the three L's. So the, for the parasternal long axis view, the left ventricle is going to be on the left side of the screen. So when in doubt, just uh, remember the three L's. So if you see an image that looks like this, you can see the left ventricle is on the right side of the screen. Just flip it 180 degrees, and you'll have the correct orientation of the parasternal long axis view. The key structures to identify in the parasternal long axis view are the left ventricle, right ventricle, aortic outflow tract, left atrium, the valves that you can see are the mitral valve and the aortic valve. The appropriate depth for this scan is when you can see the descending aorta, which we see in this view here. And also, you want to look for the pericardium, which is this hyperechoic area in the posterior portion of the heart. In this view, you can identify ejection fraction as well as pericardial effusions or tamponade.